and I ask for its immediate consideration in the House. Under guidelines consistently issued by successive speakers, as recorded in Section 956 of the House Rules and Manual, the chair is constrained not to entertain the request unless it has been cleared by the bipartisan floor and committee leaderships. A parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman will stake his uh, inquiry. Now, I understand the guidelines you decided, Mr. Speaker, uh, but uh, seeing no objection from either side of the House, would that constitute clearance and allow the chair to entertain my motion under the rules of the House? A unanimous consent request for the consideration of that measure would have to be received, uh, received clearance by the majority and the minority floor and committee leadership. The chair is unaware of such clearance. Therefore, the chair cannot entertain that request at this time. Further parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Inquiry. Again, seeing no objection on either side of the aisle, Mr. Speaker, can the chair advise what is required pursuant to Section 956 of the House Rules to allow my motion to be considered? The, uh, the chair would have to be made aware of such clearance. So, Mr. Speaker, is there any guidance under Section 956 of the House Rules to have that motion be in order? Again, the chair has not been made aware of the requisite clearance. Mr. Speaker, can the ruling of the chair be challenged? The chair has not ruled. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I ask the chair to rule on the motion of unanimous consent. The gentleman was not recognized for that unanimous consent. So, Mr. Speaker, the request cannot be entertained. So, Mr. Speaker, is there a motion that can be made under the rules that have been cited to allow for the immediate consideration of H.R. 962? The chair would not issue an advisory opinion on that request. Mr. Speaker, if this unanimous consent request can't be entertained, I would urge the speaker and the majority leader to schedule the Born Alive bill immediately so we can stand up and protect the sanctity of human life. And I would ask all others to join in in that request. And I yield back. The gentleman has not been recognized for debate. Yield back, Mr. Speaker.